Yo, what's going on, guys? See you back with another episode of New York Rangers. We had an incredibly super duper successful offseason. We acquired the 97 overall rest was down. We got like five elite players in the draft. I'm pretty sure we snagged another one through free agency. It, it was just a hell. It was a hell, hell of a video. We did phenomenal. Now, I got bad news. Prior to the start of this video that you're seeing right now, I had been recording this video. Um, clearly that does not exist because that recording did not exist because, again, I s click start on the audio file and nothing on the video file. Um, so I went ahead and made three trades to upgrade our team where I said I was going to upgrade top 6D, fourth line forward, and a backup goalie. I did all three of those things. Um, well, first I'm going to show you who I acquired. So for the fourth line, I brought in this guy, Panayai. Pretty good. Honestly, he's a playmaker, but I got him for his defensive stats on that fourth line. He's listed as a fourth liner, so it makes my life a lot easier. He'll be with Mekin and Mekin and Mekin and Mekin and, and Rathji. I traded away Ben Ho. He was listed as a depth forward, and he wasn't that great. I wanted to hold on to him for a little bit, see if he could turn into the next Dumba. But to tell you the truth, I wasn't feeling patient with him. And we already have Dumba, and he's only 22. Ben Ho was 20, I think, so. Didn't really need him. Um, I'm not going to show you the defense yet. The goalie we got, the shrimp guy, he was he was 83 overall when I acquired him. The highest rated backup goalie in the game. As you can tell, he doesn't play the puck very often. Uh, he doesn't know how to poke check or pass very well. Um, but his other stats are pretty good. Everything but stick high and break away is pretty good. He, he'll just be a good backup goalie to have. He's not very aggressive either. Uh, yeah, um, and you might have just saw right there the defense will be acquired for our top six, and here he is, Jacob Chikrin. <laughs> well, we, <sighs> he was on the block, and uh, we didn't have to give up much for him. He's only got one year left. We gave up our really crappy 22-year-old elite goalie at like 60 overall for him. Uh, and when we got him, Depenta decided that he wanted to be 88 overall again, so I guess there's two pluses to getting Jacob Chikrin. Uh, he's only 30, so if we want to bring him back, we can. Pretty good. Um, yeah, 88 overall. So now our defense is a lot better. You guys remember when we played um, we played uh, Pittsburgh? They had a very good top four. They had 92, 91, 90, 90. Uh, we have 96, 89, 89, 88, 88, 88. So overall, we'll have the better defensive core than Pittsburgh. We do have to face off against them again, but I just wanted that extra, extra something, you know? So yeah, that's that, those are the moves I made. They were first on camera, and then off camera. After I realized I didn't click record, and the reason I didn't just go back and make those trades again is because, well, I click save after I made the trades, which is just what I do after I do anything significant in franchise mode because I'm afraid of it crashing. I always just click save, click save, and it didn't save. Um, also, I went to go load an auto save and see if I had one before then, but. Evidently, I have too many slaves, uh, save slots taken up by other offline GM modes that I'm not even using. So I went ahead and deleted a bunch of those. So I do have my auto saves back on, um, you know, like the backups. Not, not auto saves, backups. So now I have backups again. So that's cool. You know, I do a really good job of planning things out and, oh, excuse me, and making sure I do click record on every video. Do a really good job of that. Because it's not the first, second, third, fourth, or fifth time I've done that. I've got a bad habit of it. <sighs> it's just terrible. It's just terrible. Anyways, those those who have been watching me for a while now know. Uh, well, I just get a notification log. So I don't have work this morning because I have I'm leaving for an exam very soon. Um Get my final exam for this semester in college, and then I'll be done with college until next semester, which is freaking awesome. I'll take that exam, be done with it, and then we move on to the next year or next semester of college. Although, as I've briefly mentioned before, I will be gone for a week, so it'll be hard to get videos out between the days of December 12th and December 19th. Those will be the days I, I am away. I'm leaving at like six in the morning, December 12th. I get back. Probably around 10.30 at night on the 19th. I'm going to try to have videos pre-recorded and set to upload for those days. It's just a matter of... What, what I'll probably do, I'll probably upload them and list them as private. 
and then while I'm there from my phone, I can unlist them as private and have them made public. And I think once you, I think once you make a video from private to public, it it uh it refreshes it, like it'll put it at the top of your feed. I think that's how that works. I'm actually gonna test that out today. Uh, when I make this video and publish it, I'm gonna put it up on private, and then I'm gonna take it off private um, later today, probably two, three o'clock, and see if it shows I uploaded a few seconds ago and not a few hours ago. Uh, just to take a looker, and hopefully it works, because I do wanna have videos out for you for the week that I'm not here. Because it would be unfortunate if I wasn't able to do that. Especially because a week is a significant amount of time for any YouTube audience. Bro Scott is online. I don't give a damn, tell you the truth. Oh, I'm not that loud or crazy this morning. Not superly, super, super, super energetic. I am a little tired. Woke up mad early to make this video. Oh my god, who keeps giving me these numbers? I just wanted to, uh, yeah, just get the video out early as possible. I still got people asleep downstairs. Because I know for a fact I won't be able to record it the rest of the day after I leave for my test. I go right from my. So basically, from 10 o'clock today. No, 9 o'clock today. From 9 o'clock to. Yeah, 9 to 9. I'm not going to be home because I have my. I have test, work, roller hockey. And then, yeah, then I get home by 10 30. Hopefully. That's the goal. To be home by 10 30. Holy shit. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, wait, Allison. Only got a top nine potential. If he had high franchise potential, I'd maybe think about putting him in the minors. But since he doesn't have high franchise, I'm just going to decline that. Just go ahead and do that. Uh, we're actually doing pretty okay. We only have 33 wins. I was kind of trying to get 40 by the deadline. The fact that we don't is kind of depressing, considering the team that we have. Um, I, don't, I can't make much sense of it. Other than the fact that I guess our goalies are 84 and 83. We don't have great goalies. Um, but what I can do is trade trade up for a, an elite goalie, which is something I contemplated doing uh, when I made the trade for Tricken and all them. The ones that you didn't see, I contemplated doing that. I think I might now. The fact that we don't have 40 wins by the deadline is embarrassing. The fact that we don't have 45 wins of the deadline is embarrassing. I did click play, right? I did, okay. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't know how thrilled I am about all this. Because we should definitely be a lot better than we are. Like, a lot better. Let's take a look at the stats. I'd imagine our franchise player is up to like 92, 93 now. Uh, all right. Linden is below point per game. Eichel's point per game. Line A's up there, not really doing phenomenally. He must have grown like three inches since the franchise most started and gained about 20 pounds. Uh, Dolan is doing awesome. Burnett, he only grew to 89. Offensive stats are pretty fuego. Yeah, I might switch him and Eichel around. Uh, Pojar, Pojar doesn't really do a good job of growing, it appears. He might be someone that we ship off at the uh, draft. That way we don't have to sign him. Uh, Chikrin's doing great. Machensky's doing awesome. Dumba, good. Make it a Mekin, Mokin, Mekin, and good. Pai Rabbit. Skajiza, Panai. Uh, he didn't drop at all, did he? Excellent, good, you're good. Uh, just gotta make sure he does not drop. Dependas, do oh, I could, excellent. Nobody's pissed. He's a plus 37. He must be the highest plus minus on the team. I'm gonna go ahead and say that. No, William Linden is. Linden, man, he. He's taking over, man. He's our number one guy. Is William Linden. He's the future capitan of this team. He's definitely getting to see when the time comes. He does nothing but get better every single season in every category. So, William Linden, man. Let's take a look at our tendies. Uh, actually, Yashin's not the problem. It's Shrimp that's the problem. He's 5'7 and 2. Wow. Linden is actually, not Linden, Yashin is actually doing mad good. Uh, he's, he went from franchise potential to starter potential. So that means he's going to peak here. That's incredibly unfortunate because we could have traded him a long time ago for a lot. Uh, I don't mind keeping Mark Yashin as a backup for this year. Probably trade his ass as a draft. 
we will definitely be acquiring a tra uh, goaltender at the trade deadline. I don't care how good he's doing. Um, I was anticipating him growing a lot. And okay, Connor McDavid, I get it. You're good at hockey. Holy shit. He's got 99s everywhere. Jesus Christmas. He is... Wow, why did not... See, now this I didn't pick up on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 seasons in a row with 40 goals or more. He is going to break every freaking record. Okay. Um. Yeah, we're, we're probably going to want to go ahead and... And pick up a goalie. Good for middle sad man. I hate that I had to trade him away, but, but realistically, we, we couldn't keep him. Uh, and good for Raffle, too. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and find ourselves a very good goalie. Let's see if there's any 92s, 93s, or 98s on the block. Alright. Any damn goalie would do as long... If 90, a goalie 90 overall and above is what I'm looking for, because we're going all in this year. To win the cup. Ferda Cup. Uh, Nadelkovic, no, no, no. Lenny Soderstrom. Uh, Ola Sedin, he's not on the block. That's the thing, like, they gotta be on the block. And I think there was a couple that were on the block. Remember Pai Trevorazic? I don't want him. Dalton, no. Chesterkin, <laughs> should have never dropped him in free agency. That was, uh, that was the kiss of death right there for us. And it was the, excuse me, start of something great for him. The second we dropped his ass, he went up. Ridiculous man overall. UC Soros thought about getting a couple of years ago. Ilya Sorokin, no. Odin J. Or, ooh. Ooh, not very good. Not that Corpus is any better. Gets the Flyers is a bad team. We should keep that guy in consideration. No, no aches. No aches. Okay. So remember the Flyer. Ooh, Samsonov. We can bring him back. Bro, we can bring back Samsonov, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, I'll remember that. We can trade his ass again at the draft. Samsonov is my number one option right now. Just have a beast of a goalie. Yeah, we're going to go get Samsonov back. Where is he? San Jose's on a vacation far away. Now, it'll be hard to afford him. We can start with Shrimp as a... Yeah, okay. So salary is going to be the issue. What do they have to retain to make this work? Because, you know, teams do not like to retain salary in this game. A million works? 800 works? No. 850? 900. 925. 925 works. All right, so they got to retain 925 in cap. Uh, I'm not going to trade Thorne, because I already traded one of our elite goalies, and I'm not willing to do another one. Um, Panay, no, Rathji, no, wow, actually, Rathji, Rathji grew a little bit. Not in the categories I would have hoped, though. Um, Steckel, the power forward. You know, he's not growing in the right categories. How is he doing in the AHL? He's one of our better AHL. I'll hold on to him. Uh, goalies, uh, what about draft picks? What draft? Right, we'll, we'll throw in a first round pick, just... Just because it makes sense. Um, I'm not willing to trade any of these guys. Mankari. See, if they were interested in one of these guys, I'd trade them. Oh, wow. Peter Rabbit. Peter Piper. Peter Piper had a pick. Peppa. Rock Rhymes. Humpty, Delf, Humpty, Dump, Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty fell down. That's his hard time. Um, yeah, that's a run DMC something right there. Uh, Rammer. Yes, we could trade this guy. Here we go. Because uh, he's one of our elites that never grew and never will grow. Um, I'll take Metropolit. <laughs> Remember the Metropolit from Minnesota Wild Franchise Mode? Like the 90-something overall match pilot. Um, and I think we have that Telquist guy we could probably trade to. Where's Par Telquist? Yeah, he's ass. And I'm started out for heaven. Whoa! Yeah, it's going to come down to salary retention, which is more than anticipated. Um, we just got to figure out what the last piece has to be to get them to retain that salary. Um, not gonna trade him, not gonna trade him. Hutainen, and I'd rather not. Legacy? Legace? Yeah, we could trade him. He ain't gonna grow. He's already, he's got top six potential. He's only a 60 something overall, and he's already 21. He ain't growing for shit. You couldn't pay that man to grow. Let's see if this goes through. Yeah, salary is not something that's easy to get teams to do in this game. 
I think the biggest issue is they don't want any of the guys I'm laying down for them. Yeah, we're gonna have to give them something they want. And that's not something I'm willing to do. Because what they want is what I want you got in. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to pass on Saminov. Um, let's go back and pick up that guy from Philadelphia. The 87 overall guy. Because he's making less money, so we should just be able to get him straight up. And not have to really worry about the whole, um, Monday, Hyundai. Uh, do they still want Rammer? They want Rammer. Do they want the other 82 Telfus? No, they just want Rammer. Okay, so we could actually get a little something, something out of this as well. Trent Frederick, no, no. I, I want actually something decent. Like a, a freaking draft pick. Is what I was thinking of. Where do you sit in the NHL? Okay, we're probably not going to... We'll get that first round pick for next year instead. I think this will actually go... Th nah, it probably won't go through. I think if we throw in a couple more pieces... I think this will go through. This should go through. Wow, okay. Um, all right, let's throw in the second for this year. I'm not willing to trade any of that. Telfist, yeah. You guys want y'all want Telfist? I ain't gonna ever. I ain't ever using him. He, I have no use for this man. He never grows and never will grow. Um. Okay. I probably don't want a commitment to Stroll though. Uh. I'd rather just yeah. Sure. Adam Masherson. Now we could. Now we could probably get like a second round pick too. If we don't. If they don't give us a second round pick, I'm just not gonna ask for anything else. Okay. This actually works. Let's see if we can get salary retained. Tell you what, well, let's, let's ditch the second round pick. Have him retain like 500. Does this work? Is it, I'd rather them retain salary that way I can keep this kid. Okay, they'll do that. I'm gonna do 400. They'll do 400. Will they do 450? Will they do 475? They just won't do 500. <laughs> so they'll do 475. Okay, that's that's a good trade right there. Uh, what what happens to us? We'd have to send down Machensky. Hmm, 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 hmm. Let's get rid of this second round pick of ours and throw in something a little bit heavier. Try to get them to retain a little bit more. I'm willing to get rid of the first round picks. So these first round picks are just top six forwards and top four defensemen. So we're not we're not losing much here. 775 would be the median. Is that worth it? Uh, we're not going to... Uh, I don't want to send down making in. We're not going to send him down. I'll, I'll, I'll work around all that. Okay, good. Go to roster moves. Okay, we've got to send down the two weeks that we acquired. Engel and Masterson. Auto fix roster. No one's going to get sent down that we don't want sent down. Um, at least it shouldn't do that. And if it does, I'd be quite upset. Yeah, because they said... They did, all they did was call up... Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Who did they send down? Um, I don't know who they sent down. Yeah, there's six defensemen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, did they fucking just... They actually did send down Make It In. I'm pissed. Okay, uh, let's go f see who claimed Make It In. That's annoying. Ugh. Weavers. Oh my god, it was Chicago. Yeah, we're, we're, we're about to get him back real quick, don't worry. This might have been this might have been a, a blessing in disguise because when we do get making him back, we're gonna get him at half salary retained because I don't dick around. Oh my god! Come on, where, where's Tiro? Get the fuck over here, guy! Come on, come on! Let's go! Cut the shit! 
You know what I'm going to do, too? Uh, I think it's time we do trade uh, Yashin. Just because of his cap hit, we can't really afford to have that. Uh, we'll get the we'll get Kata hot. The kids got hot. I know he's having a good year and all, but I mean we we got to think about our team here. And you know what? Okay. Uh, what are they interested? Excuse me. What are they interested in? Because this is ridiculous now. Um. See, if the game wasn't broken and it let you send down players on your own accord, you know, it wouldn't be a friggin' problem. But you like, ugh, it's so stupid this game. Right, well, let's just find a team that wants you, Ashen. LA, or here, Florida. What goalies do you have? Just give me a damn goalie. Um, sure. I'll take him, and I'll take your first round pick for Yashin. There you go. Okay, until there's about to be a fist fight. Just, really, I'll show you a bit low when I start punching. Okay, here we go. All right, great, thank you. Okay, best roster. I really don't give a damn. Uh, now, again, if this game wasn't so stupid, where it just, you know, sends down your freaking players, this wouldn't be an issue. But it just sends down your players, and it doesn't let you make roster moves, because the game doesn't know what the F it's doing sometimes. Let me make him back. Thank you. Um, goalies. Honestly, I might even trade that Peters guy. I'm so pissed right now. Florida's first. Actually, I should do. I do have to trade him. Never mind. Okay, and, and the Peters kid, get the fuck out of here. Go. Manage. Okay. I love how it says with his new team. Okay, edit lines. Best lines. Here we go. We go right back to the editing table. Boom, boom, boom. You get the hell over there. Like. Boom, boom. I guess Pojar has been our third line. So. Oh, okay. That's the same. Ba 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 ba. Okay. Special teams. Stalin. No, we got to get uh, whatever. I'm, honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm so done. I could edit those lines to make them what they were before, but you know what? We're on the playoff stretch. Let so the best lines be what the best lines are. We got Making and Mackin and Mookin and Mike and I'm back. Let's just go ahead and do this before I'm late for my test. Uh, and sim to the second day after the season ends. Oh, this game is so stupid. You know, it sucks that we had to lose out on our franchise goalie, Yash, and we did have to give up on him, but he wasn't growing anymore anyways. Shit just happens. We got an 87 overall goalie now. I'm, I'm pretty tough with that. You know, that's, that's a big difference. And he's still 25 years old and has elite potential, so he can grow even more. So I'm not really overly worried. Oh, man. Just when we got the franchise goalie, I was thinking, you know, 93, 94 overall. I never grew. Just couldn't get him to grow. And I noticed that, too, because me and my brother are playing our own little offline franchise mode. We just like to, you know, hang out. Every now and then we just go on on a weeknight or something, we just play. And we got this franchise goalie who is similar to Yashin and will not grow. So I don't know what it is with franchise goalies, but they just don't grow in this game. I seriously don't. Uh, okay, come on, how do we do? I don't even know what our record was at the post deadline. I don't know if we got better or not. It seems like we only had 12 wins in the remaining 20-something games, so. And we went like 12 and five, I think. All right, uh, let's put in a save. Wow, Raffle had a five point night. You see that? Wow, their first line went off. Okay, um, all right, let's go to the standings. See how we did. Okay, we finished number one of the conference and number two in the league. Edmonton Oilers finished first. McDavid had a ridiculous season. You kind of got to expect that. Goals four, we were number one. Goals against. Uh, we were wow. We're number two by a large margin. Power play percentage, number one. Penalty kill percentage, number... Don't even want to find out. Um, all right. Player stats. Appears we had no point-per-game players this year. As Linden definitely cooled off. Him and Eichel both cooled off. Eichel, I believe, had a pretty good year last year. Yeah. He had three straight point-per-game seasons had that streak ended. However, he did score 36 goals. 
Lonnie, 67 points. Burnett, 63. Dolan, 57. He didn't score very much after the deadline. Carl Leich, ignore him. Hojar Chikrin, Machensky. Again, there's so much scoring to be spread around. You can't expect everybody to score, so I really don't mind. I, I really it doesn't it doesn't really bother me too much. Goalie tenders, actually Parsons is a lot better than our other backup. And yeah, yeah, Noak's got twelve points with us. So honestly, yeah. That's that's fine. Well, he he did just fine. Uh, okay, let's take a look at the rest of the league. See if McDavid scored 305 points. No, he only had 103. <laughs> only had 57 goals, damn it, Jesus. Leo Dratz definitely enjoys playing alongside of him. Tyson Jost. Willie Linden was number four. It wasn't an incredibly high-scoring season uh, in terms of number of point game players. Oh, uh, the goals. Millside, of course, had a 50-goal season. You have to get rid of them. Uh, Borgstrom, Bowers, Bowers, Byers, uh, Lighted Catch, of course, wants to train weight, just goes off. Um, yeah. Alright. Let's see how, um, Roffel did. Led their team in points, he had 67, I think that's more than he ever had with us, right? No, he had a 74 with us, okay. Still good for him. And then where do we trade Yash in Chicago? No, we traded him to Ottawa. Where do we trade him to? I don't even remember. I think Florida, maybe? Yeah, we did. Okay. He finished out pretty weak. He had a below two goals against average when he left. Awesome. Okay. All right, let's take a look at the playoff trade, and then we will pull out a video here. All right, so you got Nashville, St. Louis, you got Winnipeg, Vancouver, San Jose, Calgary, Edmonton, Vegas, Pitts Puke versus New Jersey, Yerny Granger versus the Washington Capitals again, Ottawa, Tampa Bay, Buffalo Sabres versus the, excuse me, Florida Panthers. So, thank you everybody for watching. If you're watching, you're watching, you're and if you're watching, you hearing aids, wow. That was a tough one. That was a tongue question even for me. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.